Thank you to Multiverses for sponsoring this video. So what is Multiverses? Multiverses is a new upcoming free-to-play platform fighting game featuring characters from within the Warner Media catalog, which includes Harley Quinn, Tom and Jerry, Finn the Human, Wonder Woman, Steven Universe, Jake the Dog, Garnet, Arya Stark, Superman, Batman, and even new original characters like the adorable Rain Dog. On first glance, Multiverses may remind you of some other platform fighter games, and sure, it does share a lot of similarities with them. What makes Multiverses unique is a strong focus on 2v2 gameplay utilizing dynamic team combos between all of the fighters. While you can play 1v1 or free-for-all, 2v2 is the main game mode here. While the number of playable characters isn't very high compared to other established platform fighters, I'm sure that they will be adding more fighters after the game releases sometime later this year. One thing that immediately stood out to me when I first opened the game was the tutorials. Sure, I know many people may think tutorials are a waste of time, however, I think that Multiverses does a fantastic job of providing tutorials for every specific mechanic in the game, which I'm sure both new and experienced players will be pleased to see. You're not forced to do any of the tutorials, however, the game does entice you to at least do the basic tutorial by giving you an unlockable character once you complete it. Another thing I noticed before even starting a real match was the sheer amount of customization options, such as skin variants, badges, banners, announcer voices, KO effects, emotes, and even small perks, which can be equipped to specific fighters, which gives them small advantages, such as more attack power or more defense. And even though I'm playing an early build of the game, I can see that the game already has a battle pass as well, similar to pretty much any other game with a free and a premium track, full of unlockable stuff to collect. However, the battle pass is not the only way to unlock stuff because each individual fighter also has a track of items that you can unlock simply by playing that fighter to earn experience. Now let's talk about the actual gameplay. I've only played the game for a little bit, but I can tell you it feels more like Super Smash Bros than it does Brawlhalla. Modes include 2v2 player versus player, or player versus bots, 1v1, and 4 player free for all. You can also refine your skills in training mode or put your skills to the ultimate test in ranked competitive. There's light attacks and strong attacks that are unique for each legend. Some can be charged up for more power and each fighter feels very unique and has some cool special abilities. As mentioned previously, the game does have a strong focus on 2v2 cooperation, so depending on who you and your teammate are, you can really help each other out with different moves, such as Wonder Woman providing a shield for both of you, or using her whip to help a teammate get back onto stage, or Bugs Bunny digging a hole that your teammate can tunnel through as well. Simply play the game and you will discover great team combinations. As far as movement, the game feels very tight and responsive. You can turn on a dime and it feels great. There's the standard dodge left and right, and you can double jump as well as air dodge twice in any direction. And you can also use recovery type attack twice while in the air for a total of up to six moves that you can use in the air to help you get back onto stage or to get around in the air. Wall grabbing is also in the game. It's automatic and though you do slide down the wall and have to keep jumping, and this is only the alpha version, as of right now, it seems like you can just wall camp forever until you are hit off basically. So I hope that they do add some kind of wall slip uh, after so many jumps like they did in Brawlhalla. Overall, the combat felt very fast, very fluid, and very clean. While playing, it's very easy to see your characters as well due to the colored outlines that they have, which by the way is totally customizable. You can even customize the damage position, scoreboard position, player name position, 
the outline colors themselves, and of course your inputs. I was impressed with the variety of interface customization options, yet I did notice that the graphics options do not have any frame rate control on PC, and the game appears capped at 60 frames per second, which is a bummer for me since I have a 240 frame per second monitor. Most people probably won't even notice or care about it being capped at 60 FPS, but I'm sure the hardcore PC gamers and pro players may be disappointed with me on that. Going back to the gameplay, another thing that I was pleased to find out was that the game has full voice acting support for all of the characters, even Arya Stark. The voice acting really makes the fighters feel alive, and I'm happy that they were able to do that. Glad to see you made the right choice. My mother told me that fighting does not make you a hero. Greatness is not what you think. Rematch? On a side note, there doesn't appear to be any sort of items or gadgets that spawn on the map like in most other platform fighter games. For better or for worse, you can decide. Overall, Multiverses seems to be easy for new players to pick up and start playing, while also having a deep moveset, especially with the 2v2 synergy potential. I think the wide variety of fighters means that almost everyone will be able to find someone that they enjoy playing, and the gameplay itself is very hectic and fun. The best part about the game, it's free to play. Alright then, you're with me. If you would like to sign up for early access of Multiverses, simply use my link in the description below. This is the end of my analysis, but if you'd like to stick around and watch me play a full match of Multiverses, feel free. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis of the game so far. There's obviously a lot more to see and do in this game, so we're going to go ahead and play just a regular game in 2v2. And hopefully if there's any Choose other questions you guys have, you, they will be answered here. But I'm going to go ahead and play Wonder Woman, I think. She's probably my best so far. I don't really have a lot unlocked for her, but uh, it's okay. I do have her level 4 or 5 or something. And here's her move list. So she has uh, pretty good moves. She's a good team player, but mainly she does a lot of damage. And she can also just take a lot of damage because she has the shield. And uh, like yeah, she's just hard to kill. So let's go ahead and play some 2v2 online. All right. I got Steven Universe on my team. And we're going against Superman and Bugs Bunny. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to auto-equip my perks. I do have a couple little perks there. They just do a tiny little difference, um, like 4% more damage or a tiny bit less cooldown on an ability. Nothing major. All right, here we go, guys. You could have walked away. Also, if you guys have like any questions for me about this game, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. So I'm doing pretty good so far, I think. I do wish that when I was charging an attack, I could uh, change directions, but you can't. Once you start charging it, you just can't change directions. Oh yeah, Superman, you want some of this? Wonder Woman's coming for you! How dare you hit me! Shield! Steven Universe need to actually start doing some attacks because I feel like I'm the only one over here attacking! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me, Superman? Where are you going, Bugs Bunny? <laughs> I don't even know where he's going. No, I'm not. All right, we're doing okay, I think. I'm gonna activate shield mode. Unfortunately, it didn't give the shield to my teammate that time. Ooh, 
Ooh, I got Bugs Bunny pretty good there. So in 2v2, basically it's first team to get four knockouts uh, wins. Ow. That's okay, we're still doing okay. Superman needs to die. He's got a lot of damage. There we go. I don't want to fight you, Diana. But I will. I know what I'm doing. I don't want to fight you, Diana, but I will. That's awesome. So depending on who they're fighting, they'll even talk to each other. Ow. Ooh, that was my first death. That's okay. We've both been knocked out twice now. Oh, man. This is sorry about talking a whole lot. It's just kind of hectic. Like, going from Brahalla, where I pretty much play 1v1, to playing this 2v2 with new characters. I don't know the attacks that well. It's just kind of uh, like I got to focus more, I guess. Oh, get wrecked. Sorry, oh, Superman seems like he'd be fun, though. He can like fly around, actually. That's cool. I haven't really whipped my teammate yet. <laughs> I haven't really had a need. Yep. Dude, they are flying way up here so much. Oh, spike bugs, bunny, let's go. You'll regret this. Let's go. There it is. That's game. Victory. Let's go. <laughs> That's my taunt, by the way, when I do the jump rope. Winner! Love can truly save the world. Play again? I feel like Superman and Wonder Woman would be an awesome team. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, thank you so much to Multiverses for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, be sure to subscribe, and as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.